Hi Leo, here's a general look at your solar chart for the whole of 2010 and um, I'm just going to give it to you directly, um, minimise the twiddly bits so that you can refer back to it if you wish to later in the year. So this is part one. Uh, beginning with the eclipse on January the 15th, that's going to send a pulse of energy out over the subsequent six months, bringing new beginnings related to services you perform for others or services they perform for you and also your health and well-being. So this would be an excellent time for you to take the initiative towards improvement in those areas, get an MOT, get a checkup. Um, and uh, also get to grips with other sort of mundane tasks uh, like paperwork, maintenance, repairs, uh, you know, uh, your, your equipment, any, you know, cars, computers, uh, that kind of thing. Uh, mundane uh, tasks, but uh, this is a, a maintenance orientated sort of an eclipse energy. So for your physical vehicle, but for your mechanical um, vehicles as well. And then from mid-January to June the 6th and September the 8th till the end of the year, Jupiter's passage through Pisces, that's going to light up an area which could benefit you financially. Um, or uh, from the resources or goodwill of others, you could receive uh, some kind of a benefit. Uh, excellent time for you to get finances and property issues sorted out, definitely. And also you're going to be begin to feel more settled emotionally and uh, you'll be able to give of yourself to others to lean on more. But also uh, the feeling uh, will be reciprocated by others and you will feel more supported by another's emotional engagement with you. And also maybe on the more material level, um, be thankful and or appreciate some kind of material support that's coming your way. Once uh, Jupiter parts company with Neptune and Chiron from the end of the first week of January, things will start to spring into focus more. Um, in 2009, uh, this confusing at times influence will have left things hanging in the air and, 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 and there's been uh, left you wondering um, about something, um, particularly um, in, in important close relationships um, or, or maybe there hasn't been, you know, maybe there's been a gap there um, and so you've been searching. Maybe you were uh, looking at things uh, through rose-tinted spectacles um, with regard to another person or took too much for granted about that other person or you expected more from a partner than they could, they were capable of delivering. But from the beginning of January, there's going to be a growing sense of clarity, certainty, and you will feel that you're really making progress now. Um, as you are moving forwards at last with your long cherished hopes. Uh, so that's good news. When Saturn opposes Uranus from Virgo from mid April to early July, you'll be focusing on all things related to the material world. That's finances, property, possessions, but on another level, you'll be rearranging your priorities as you begin to trust your innate gifts of resilience and resourcefulness and patience and steadfastness and stoicism um, to see you through to the end of June. This is the last stage of changing gears from one state of being to another and you're going to be learning or you have been learning actually because that, um, that particular aspect has been around for a while um, <clears throat> off and on you've been learning to gradually uh, to work towards a more secure, um, a stronger sense of security um, within, you know, your, your physical body, the material world, and, and maybe you've had to meet challenges there, um, uh, but also wanting um, to be liberated from that. So um, you've got that kind of seesaw, push me, pull you thing a little bit longer. So just hang on in there a little while longer. Um, 
with mars in your sign till early june you can really pull out the stops um, because mars is going to give you stamina mars is going to give you a kind of a physical uh, wave of energy and uh, successes are likely to come more easily by initiating projects or working hard at developing uh, or improving things related to your physical health your appearance um, or a, a a personal interest, something very, very close to your heart, could be a creative project of some kind. And then when Saturn opposes Uranus from Libra from mid-July to August the 11th, the focus will be on the foundations of your life, your domestic arrangements, your emotional connections, uh, which may conflict with your aspirations in the wider world and, and uh, possible sudden changes uh, which alter your life direction either temporarily or permanently. You may feel caught between these two areas of commitment at times during that time slot. That's from um, mid-July to August the 11th. It's advisable to take small steps then to free yourself up and bring yourself um, bring a more comfortable balance into your life. If you take responsibility for the reality you have, then you can find the loophole which liberates you. Now, Uranus working from Pisces for a little while longer continues to destabilize the area of joint finances, fi finances and uh, other resources dependent upon certain other people. Um, or maybe ex external agency. So expect the last few changes to complete and to set things in place when Uranus goes into Aries properly from March 2011. Saturn aspects Pluto from Libra as the year kicks off, continuing until the end of February and then again from August to the beginning of September and you may feel the pressure uh, through a heavier workload related to communications, paperwork, getting on with other people, correspondence, short journeys, toing and froing more, um, and definitely you'll be honing your communication skills and your people skills then. And early Leos uh, will be feeling this influence most acutely over January and February and August 2010, but all of you will sense the time is at hand to let go of the old and build for a better future. So you may have to be patient as things slowly come together. Good news is that when Jupiter moves into Aries from June the 6th to, the, to September the 8th, the odds will definitely be more stacked in your favor uh, through educational activities, um, media, communications, promotions, um, connecting with others uh, at a distance, uh, nice things could start coming your way. Well, that's uh, the end of part one. If you want to hear the rest, uh, catch up with me on part two. I'll see you there.